hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about how we can generate ssl certificates in azure key vault okay and how we can auto rotate the certificates so that you don't need to renew the certificates again and again by yourself we can enable that setting directly in azure key vault so azure key vault will automatically renew our ssl certificates created through this azure key vault okay so let's begin the video i am in azure portal and i have created this key vault already if you don't know how to set up key vault and you don't know other settings in key vault right? like, like networking access configuration and all i have already made a video on on the key vault, so you can go and watch it so now let's go to the certificates where we have to create the certificate and basically enable the auto rotation okay so here we are in certificates you can see the ui here if you need to know certificate authorities and all if you want to add something you can add that so let's uh, first generate the certificate so if you create a certificate in azure key vault certificate generally you go, uh, get two type of methods to create the certificate generally you want to generate and there is another one to import so if you have the certificates already you can import it as well if you select import here you will have to provide the certificate name along with the file okay so you can uh, upload your pfx file only in the key vault if you have your certificate in .crt or .cer file first you will have to convert it to .pfx file then only you can upload it here if you have some password in your certificate you can enter the password okay and the second method is to generate if you don't if you don't have any certificate yet you can always generate one okay so here you will have to provide the certificate name you can provide any name if you need more details you can click on this side okay so you can provide anything even you can provide your dns so suppose i just provided this this is my certificate name and here you will have to select the type of certificate authority okay man it means from where you want to you, uh, issue your certificate from where if it's certificate authority you want your certificate okay so if you want to create a self-signed certificate you can create that as well but generally we cannot use self-signed certificates in productions you can if you are doing some testing and if you have created your domain for some te testing purpose you can uh, use this but if you have your production deployed then you cannot uh, use this because most of the browsers don't uh, i mean trust this this self signed certificates so you will get ssl error when browsing your website okay so let's one create the self signed certificate you can also create certificates from integrated cas or non integrated cas okay so if you need certificate for your productions you can select this integrated ca and here in the certificate authority you will have to add it okay like uh, you'll have to provide the name provider register and global sign okay you will have to add account id password if in case if you have digicert you will have to account, uh, add account username account id organization id and all, uh, all those things once your certificate authority is added you can come here and you can select this you can always select this certificate authority from here where you want to issue this certificate okay so okay so once you selected self-signed certificate here in certificate authority you will have to provide the subject that is also called common name okay so here cn is equal to 
cn means common name is equal to you will have to provide your dns name or something like so this is my suppose this is my dns name i will provide something like this and here you will have to add your dns like what you want to uh, use this in ssl so suppose the, your dns is something like this you can add this as well if you want something else as well like if you want some wildcard wildcard certificates like star dot sorry it should be star okay so if you add this it will include all the subdomains as well okay i will explain this all the things in a video we, if when i make a video about ssl certificates so we have added the dns names here and here you will have to add the validity period you can issue either for 12 months or 24 months okay so we will just add it for 12 months you can select the content time pam or pkcs and you will have to select the lifetime action type this is where we can renew this, this certificate whenever this is going to expire so you'll have some options here like automatically renew at a given percentage lifetime automatically renew at a given number of days before expiry okay so if you want to renew your certificate you can renew it you can select whatever you want so, so see suppose you want to renew this certificate automatically renew it you can configure it and you can provide the date here like when this certificate should renew okay and if you want if you don't want to renew it just you want to email all the contacts then you can email them as well so let's configure this for auto renewal let it the number of days before expiry is equal to 30 and if you want to provide some advanced policy configurations you can click on it and select this as well okay like uh, what is the certificate type enable certificate trans transparency key size key type if you want all these things you can select it okay according to your requirement if you want to tags on add tag on this certificate you can add tags as well so that person who is referring this certificate letter will know where this certificate is being used and what is basically use of this certificate once this is done you can click on create and one certificate will be created at the moment this is disabled because the creation is still in progress if you click on it so once uh, creation is completed it will be enabled okay you can click new version you can uh, upload or generate new version fr uh, from here as well or if you want to download the certificate or you want to see your certificate you can click on it and you can see the certificate here we can download this you can download this certificate and open it as well if you download in pfx format okay it's not yet created that's why it is not downloaded so once this will be created you can download it as well in cr format or in pfx format if you want to refer this certificate in some secrets you can use this url to refer this certificate you can see other details as well here in the uh, ui yeah, once this is created you will get all the things as well like what is the subject name the identifier secret identifier and all okay so you can see the activation date as well and expiry date so since we have uh, selected the auto renewal for this certificate once uh, expiry date is near around before 30 days it will automatically renew this certificate 
we don't uh, have to go and renew the certificate manually okay so this is how we can create self-signed certificates and use it for your testing purpose okay let me now generate a, a, a integrated certificate so i have selected the generate let's let's just use the certificate name okay here you can select the integrated ca and you will have to configure the certificate authorities if you want from dg cert or your certificate authority is dg cert you can configure the dg cert details here account id account password and organization id and create it okay just i am testing for now this let me so like this you can create the certificate authority and once this is created you can select this so our certificate authority is here now you can now uh, the process is same now for creating it you can come here and provide your subject common name you can add your dns names here you can add validity periods and again here in life, lifetime action type you can choose what you want to do if you want to automatically renew your certificate okay you you can select or if you want to email all the contacts you can do that as well so if you select it your certificate will be automatically renewed 30 days before the expiry date okay so this is a best way to do uh, to do renew your certificates if you don't want your certificates to be renewed manually by your team okay now let's cancel it and go to the certificates which we had created let me refresh the page and see now the certificate is enabled and you can see certificate thumbprint as well if you open it you can see the thumbprint activation date status and expiry date if you open it here you can see the certificate subject issuer okay serial number subject alternative names and other things as well key identifier and secret identifier if you want to use the your certificate as secret you can use uh, this url if you want to use this as key you can use this url okay if you want to download this certificate you can download in cr format if you want to now down download this certificate in pfx format you can download it as well. let me click on download so this will download a pfx file and you can install that certificate as well if you want so download it you can click on next in on whatever machine you want to install it and use that certificate to access your domain securely okay i will made i will make separate videos on ssl certificate like uh, what is ssl certificate why these are needed and how generally we uh, install it in uh, virtual machines or uh, windows machines even for linux machines okay so that's it from this video we'll meet uh, in another topic in another video with some another topic if you like this video please, please like and subscribe my channel if you have some feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching my video